For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can decode JPEG images using JPEG IO. So this is a specific library that's used to take on-disk JPEGs, which can be compressed and nice and small, one of the benefits of JPEGs, and you may have other reasons uh, for connected devices for downloading JPEGs from, from the web, and then wanting to display them on your display in CircuitPython. Uh, so the way this works, you can see here I have a nice little slideshow. It's just running through some JPEG images that are sitting on the uh, CircuitPython drive. I have import JPEG IO listed up here. I've given it a set of JPEG image names that are sitting on the CircuitPython drive, doing some of the usual display setup for this SPI display here. Uh, I'm setting up some uh, a, a sort of placeholder blank bitmap that we will then cast our pixels into. And then the key thing here is this function right here, which came from Toddbot. He has some cool JPEG code, and I grabbed this from there. So what this does, it sets up a decoder object with jpegio.jpeg decoder. So that instantiates the JPEG decoder. Then we grab the width and height values when we are opening the JPEG. So decoder.open and then the name of the file for whichever one we're looking at from that list. Uh, then we create an object called bitmap, which is the same size as that JPEG, and we're telling it the color, uh, the bit depth that we're going to use for color. And then we use decoder.decode bitmap. This takes that JPEG, and it basically decodes the uh, compression, turns it into a bitmap file that can be more easily displayed on the screen. Uh, then the rest of this is a nice little neat slideshow that's just grabbing that returned bitmap from the load JPEG to bitmap function. And then my main loop is just calling that slideshow so that every three seconds it updates. Uh, and so that is how you can use JPEG images in CircuitPython using JPEG IO. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.